Welcome back to the Reporters Roundtable. I'm your host, Peter Zalewski from Pondo Vultures. We're going to get into our first three stories. These are stories that I handpicked. I sent them off to the journalists and asked them to give them a read. And now I want to discuss the stories with the journalists and I want them to, to cut through the fluff and give uh, you, the audience, some perspective of what's sort of really going on. So, John, we're going to start off with you with story number one. This is actually going to come out of Bloomberg. Let me read you the headline. I'll read you the first couple of graphs and I'll ask you to sort of comment. Headline. U.S. home prices seen rebounding after an expected $1 trillion plunge this year. First couple graphs. U.S. residential real estate may lose close to a trillion dollars in value this year, but that loss will be transient as home prices are expected to rebound, according to a new poll. Uh, respondents expect prices to fall 2% nationally this year, which implies that the value of the U.S. housing market will fall to $46.9 trillion from 47.9 trillion at the end of 2022 for results of the poll conducted by the housing analytics firm Pulsonomics. John, what, what do you make of the fact? Are we are, you know, are we gonna lose a trillion dollars in valuations or are we gonna lose possibly even more based on high interest rates, based on some of the skepticism and bearishness out there in the marketplace? Uh what, what, what what's your read of this story? Well, I mean, you know, I wouldn't put a lot of uh faith in in some of these uh, surveys and forecasts. I mean, um, you know, it's funny because I, I remember just prior to the last uh, uh, housing downturn, I mean, the forecasters uh, completely missed it, you know, and, um, you know, I think I think uh, that you really have to take these with a grain of salt. Um, and all it tells us really is sort of what the group think is on um, on housing prices, but it doesn't really help with any kind of um, I mean, I wouldn't bet any money on it. Uh, in fact, uh, we have a story uh, further down uh, our list this evening uh, that uh, predicts home prices will fall nine, another 9%. So, I mean, uh, you know, who knows? Who knows? That's a great point. I know what I'm telling some of the people who reach out to me. I'm telling them, go back to 2019 pricing, take a look at your property taxes, whatever it was in 2019. That's probably more realistic of what you should be looking at. And then if there's a pullback from there, take 10 to 20% off 2019. But any of the realtors out there who are listening, pushing back, feel free to send a comment. The You can send an email to inquiry at condovultures.com. So story hey, number hey, two, Peter, let's go to uh, Jeff uh, Can I just jump in on that, that story for a second? Yes, Jeff, so please. Plunge and trillion dollars sounds like a lot, but really that, that story is only talking about a 2% decline in home values, which, which is not that much. Uh, I mean, especially after that huge run-up we saw during the, the pandemic boom and and then in the previous uh, eight years before that. So uh so, yeah, I mean, it sounds like a scary number, but uh, if, if you look closer, it's, I mean, they, they're really just describing what's already happened. I mean, it's, uh, yes, uh, the home prices have pulled back nationally, not here in South Florida, but nationally they've pulled back, uh, and, you know, probably a trillion dollars, but that's out of 47 trillion. That's uh, really not that big a deal.